how do you ensure data privacy and data security when it you're like you know helping your customers design their products yeah so data privacy is a very important topic in today's world uh, with uh, more and more uh, you know work happening digitally or, or as we call it the digital economy one needs to be very clear on what data we are sharing with whom and why we are sharing you know that is from an end user point of view secondly from an enterprise point of view a lot of enterprises now collect a lot of customer data so while uh, collecting data we need to be you know very very sure that that what data we are collecting how we are collecting how we are classifying that data right in terms of what is sensitive data what is non sensitive data like for example a person's name email id mobile number address right these these are all called spi data so sufficient safeguards need to be put in place to ensure that the data that is collected is stored securely in an encrypted manner and um, appropriate access controls are applied to ensure the data is not accessible to you know anyone and everyone secondly when when we look at how do we leverage or use this data for multiple purposes as per the latest data privacy law that we have um, end users or customers need to know you know my you know for what purpose is my data being used how it is being used who is using my data and so on and so forth so that is more from a um, end user point of view now coming to today's uh, you know topic of uh, generative ai and leveraging generative ai for a number of enterprise use cases um, we all know that uh, you know generative ai or the use cases that we implement in gen ai is uh, dependent on how we train our models leveraging the data that we have so if we end up uh, you know uh, training our model with sensitive data the model will end up you know giving you output with sensitive data in it which again becomes a big challenge from a um, privacy point of view so one needs to be very sure that the data that is used being used for uh, training the gen ai models does not have any uh, sensitive data or uh, you know pii data um, inside that secondly there is also this concept of synthetic data where we generate data which is not actual customer data but data that essentially mimics the actual customer data that we have and use that to train the generative ai models so that the output that we get from the model um, serves the purpose for which the models are being deployed and at the same time it ensures that uh, we don't end up uh, you know violating any uh, privacy laws lastly what are the challenges that you see when people are implementing ai and ml that they they are not taken taking into account and what do you suggest that people need to do when i say your customers need to take into account before they end uh, like you know embark on the ai and ml journey yeah so there are uh, multiple things uh, that uh, one needs to keep in mind when we embark on the uh, gen ai journey the first one is getting the model itself right right and um, if the if the model is not right then the output that comes out of it will not be right so what i mean by that is we need to see uh, you know what data has been used to train the model how the model has been created so that we are very very sure that the model doesn't um, you know end up providing outputs that are racial in nature and so forth second as i alluded to uh, earlier um, is is related to you know the data that we use to train the model we should ensure that the data does not have any um, you know sensitive and privacy related information the third uh, important thing that comes is um we should also look at you know what kind of data and where we have sourced it from one needs to be very sure to ensure that the data that we are using to train the model uh, is not owned by somebody else or the data does not violate any intellectual property rights because then the output of the model will include those kinds of things then comes the question of you know uh, who has violated what that's a very important thing the other important aspect is cybersecurity uh from a um, you know compliance with data privacy compliance with data security and uh, cyber security of the model itself and and the application that is leveraging the gen ai model itself right how are you protecting the model you know how are you controlling access to that model and and um, you know how are you ensuring the model itself complies to to the various cyber security policies and processes in the enterprise thank you for sharing that thanks Great.